Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to enable a mocking service like what we are doing in design center. So we have capability now in any point studio that you can turn on the mocking service and you can test your API. And also we will see how we can add the servers into your open API specification. When I say server, it's nothing like you can add your base, uh, base URL for each environment within the servers. Okay. The first thing I want to ensure that like before I start mocking service, there is no changes pending. So let me commit all the changes. Changes done. And I will simply commit and post. So I am committing these changes to my AnyPoint Design Center. Okay, everything is done. So there is a two way to enable the mocking service. The first way you can click here and you can enable the mocking service. The other option you can go to a manage API specification and you can turn on the mocking service. So let me turn on from here. It will take 5 to 10 seconds for your mocking service to enable. So you can see your mocking service is enabled now. It's on. Now let me test few method. I will test first get method. Let me pull it here. And I will try it out. So it's saying we need to add some transactions ID. You know. Then we need to add client ID. We need to add some client secret. You know. So you can add some dummy value. And you can just send it. You got 200 successful response. Like you know. You can see that. Now also you can test few more method. So let me say try it. So again you need to add correlation ID. You need to add transaction ID. By default content type is published as an application JSON. And let me check. Let me send the request. We got 400. So require authorization header is missing. So let me check. Let me put one header. Authorization. Because we have def defined the schema, right? So I will say parameter value B error. Equals something, 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 right? Send. You got 201 created. This is the successful response coming back from your mock API, right? So we have tested that part. Now let me do one thing. I need to add some servers. So base URL. So for that, we have some tag called servers. Then the server, you can add the URL. I can say HTTP. API dot example dot com slash api slash v1 this is my base url also i can provide some kind of description i can say this is the production api let me copy this thing okay this is my staging stays staging API and then finally it comes to dev this is my development API right but every like you know so you can see I can put whatever URL I want but you can see this URL and description is duplication of code so basically what we can do to avoid the duplication so basically I will remove all this thing and if you see only the thing is like changing that is the API the subdomain is only changing basically. So let me remove all those things and let me parameterize this. So I will say environment. So you can parameterize using a curly braces. Then just say control space. You can define a variable. So under variable, you can define the environment. You can say default environment is API. Then you can define the enum. So I have API. I have a API stays then I have a API dev so if you see now this looks much better in future if some new environment come you can simply see API UAT correct and like go to your endpoints get you know so you can see all those things so basically uh, let me save everything Okay, let me disable mocking service for now. 
then like you know so so this is how you can add the base url let me go back to post so if you if you can see these are some uh, environment variable you can see that here basically like what are the environment variable and let me try out i can send it any request i want let me save everything i've disabled mocking service let me go to delete right so you have to pass id whatever id you want to pass you know correlation you will get 400 bad request it yeah it, it it's still the mocking service is on so it takes some time now you can see the url change so you can see the url is http environment i can make this as a https also so https environment.example.com api v1 post slash id so this is the this is the base URI and environment you can read the environment from a documentation so if you go to get or delete so it will give the what is the correct value for the environment and this is the default value right so that is how you can define a base URL in the open API specification and you can enable the mocking service for testing your API I hope you like the video thanks for watching if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button